Yo, what's up guys, it's Felix from Giant Lifestyle. So in this video, I just wanna give you guys a real quick real estate wholesaling tip and debunk a common myth in the game which a lot of people tell everybody just starting out to go out there and build your buyers list. Now, while it's important to have a strong buyers list, I just wanted to tell you guys about my first deal I ever did where I had zero buyers list, but I had a slam dunk deal. Now, like I said, it's important to have a strong buyers list, but if you're going out there and focusing on the buyers with having no deals, you're not going to be able to build a relationship with them because they want deals. It's more important and it's in your better favor to bring them deals. And in the end, there's really no way to be certain and to be sure that these buyers that you're putting on your list are legit buyers. The only way to know is to bring them a deal and let them put their money where their mouth is when you ask for a $2,500 deposit to go into escrow. A lot of people will BS calling you saying that they're buyers, that they can pay all cash, that they can close in two to three weeks or 30 days. But when it comes to putting up that money, they're thinking or talking otherwise. So my best advice for you is to go find deals, go find motivated sellers, go put properties under contract. And even if they fall through, at least you're moving in the right direction instead of beating your hands and your brain against the table trying to build this qualified buyers list and having no way to bring these buyers properties. Go put deals under contract and then go from there. Like I said, the first deal I ever did, the house was worth between 230 and 240 and I put it under contract for 85,000. At the time, I had no qualified buyers list that I knew of. I had a few wholesalers that I knew and a few other people, but if you put it into Facebook real estate groups, if you put out bandit signs for the deal, if you tell other wholesalers about your property and the numbers are solid, you can easily move the property. So go out there, do money-making activities, focusing on getting a deal with a great spread for the rehabber, a great spread for your assignment fee, and you can easily move the deal. I brought over 10 buyers through my first deal. Some of them told me that the numbers won't work, and the guy who ended up buying the property from me looked at it for 10 minutes, went outside, wrote me a $2,500 deposit for escrow, and we closed a little while later. So just go out there, look for deals, forget about your buyers list. Obviously, once you start doing deals, then you'll know who's a real buyer, and you could have a buyers list of you know either 10 to 20 or hundreds but when you do deals with these buyers then you'll know for sure how good and how qualified of buyers they really are so that's all i got for today see you guys later peace